What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another little video. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the 2-1 win over Man United last night. And going into an FA Cup semi-final on Sunday, um, there couldn't be any better preparation for that um, than a 2-1 win um, over a big six side. Saturday simply wasn't good enough. A 2-0 defeat to Burnley. Um, away from home, a, a game we really should have picked up three points in, um, especially in the second half. The the chances we had in the second half to try and open up Burnley um, and then it didn't materialise, it was just simply not good enough. Um, and we needed a reaction uh, against Man United uh, last night. And um, that's exactly... Um, that's exactly what we got. First 20 minutes uh, or so, it was pretty. It was pretty rough. It was pretty rough in the sense that um, we were struggling quite a bit. We were struggling quite a bit, um, and probably except Man Manchester City away, I think it was the first real instance that we've that we really struggled. Um, uh, we we or started badly in the game against the big six side this season. After we went behind, there was there was a reaction. There was definitely a reaction when when we went behind. Um, we were quite sloppy up until um, the Man United goal. It was quite sloppy um, from our end. It was quite sloppy and unlike us really. Twelve minutes later, uh, just after. Um, a golden chance uh, for our home to square it to Diego Jota. Um, it was um, from uh, fr from the uh, the um, the resulting goal kick. Um, it was from the resulting goal kick uh, that it, it came to Fred. Um, Fred got dispossessed uh, by Matinho, um, who laid it off to Jimenez, uh, and then Jimenez um, slotted it in uh, for Jota, who. Um, who placed it in the bottom left um, for 1-1 and that was absolutely fantastic finish and just what we needed just the reaction we needed after going 1-0 down in a period where we were we were playing quite poor um, it was the exact reaction we needed really um, and from then on we got that momentum um, we got that momentum and we kicked on uh, for the rest of the first half and um, we really we really had some good chances. We really had some good chances, and um, that carried on into the second half. And to begin with, in the second half, um, we kept the ball quite well. Um, and in this game, in particular, as well, um, on the Man United end, it was. It was, I think, as the game went on, they were starting to lose, lose their patience and. Um, Started to lose a bit of their discipline as well, and it showed because um, a few, quite a few of their defenders, um, uh, by uh, the hour mark or so of the game, um, had um, had picked up bookings, and um, and it it showed it showed that they were starting to lose their patience because um, Ashley Young with an absolutely horrific. Horrific tackle on Diogo Jota. Um, could have broke his leg. Really could have. Um, he, to be honest, he, he he was going nowhere near the ball, and um, uh, the ball went away from him a little bit. Uh, so he had to stretch. He, he had to stretch his leg out to try try and get a ball instead. Uh, he caught Diogo Jota, which um, in fact was a horrific horrific challenge. Um, and he got his second yellow and his marching orders and I mean, you know, it was suddenly down to 10 men but it didn't really show because they kept on going um, they, they kept on going um, and I think that's something that's improved in a way um, on, under Solskjaer uh, since he has took the reins um, if that had been a Mourinho side and, and 
and uh, Mourinho's uh, Mourinho Man United side have gone down to ten men. You would have seen them completely just collapse. Um, but but um, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, after they um, after they went down to ten men, it it, it, it looked as though they were still playing with eleven um, because they they were still they were still competitive. They were still in the game. Um, eventually. Uh, eventually, um, what was originally um, given to the Deng Donker was stolen from him and uh, given it as a small own goal. Um, which, in many cases, when it's an own goal, I'm sure the defender wouldn't want it. And that was a, uh, a small own goal, uh, 13 minutes from time. Um, and yeah, it was quite, it was quite, it was quite scrappy. It was, it was quite scrappy, um, and then, uh, and then eventually, uh, eventually, uh, Smalling had the last touch, and that was enough to turn it into his own net, uh, past David De Gea, um, for two one, and um, yeah, that that was it really. Um, for the whole ninety minutes, um, in general, really, um, after after Man United. Um, after after Man United had scored, um, they didn't really. They were still competitive and in the game, but they didn't really look as though they were going to threaten. They they didn't really look as though they were going to uh, cause any danger. Um, um, so obviously that in, invited our. Uh, that, that invited our attackers um, to really put the pressure on Man United and um, a much needed three points uh, going into an FA Cup semi-final weekend um, and also off the back of a 2-0 uh, defeat at the weekend to Burnley um, in what was um, a really lacking performance. Um, this was quite the opposite um, and um, yeah, a really good result. A really good result. And now we move on to um, Watford at Wembley uh, in the FA Cup semi-final. A chance to progress to the FA Cup final. A chance to progress to the FA Cup final. Um, and also now we, we could, uh, we're still in the driving seat uh, for best of the rest. Um, Watford are still hot on our, uh, hot on our heels at the moment. Uh, they beat um, Fulham 4-1 last night to send Fulham packing to the championship along with Huddersfield. Um, who were relegated at the weekend? Um, but yeah, um, I can't wait now. Can't wait till Sunday, um, four o'clock kickoff. Um, Watford against Wolves, FA Cup semi-final. Biggest game of our season. Biggest game of our season so far. I'll see you. I'll I'll see you on Monday. Um, uh, with a match day vlog of um, of the Watford Wolves game, cannot wait, cannot wait to go to Wembley. Until then, goodbye, guys. Go.